All right, today we're going to look at the uh, Amy problem. And this is another example where Newton's identity may not be used directly, but the related tricks about, uh, you know, and the sum of uh, roots, square, the sum of square, sum of cubes. Okay, so that is uh, quite, uh, quite common. All right, let's look at that. The problem here is that uh, is for cubic equations with RST three roots and try to find not the direct cube sum, but are the pairwise sum and then cube and then sum together, right? So when you look at this problem, you are attempted to expand out, you know, R plus S to the cube. In general, you know the binomial um, formula, right? If you raise to, to the third power, you can expand it out like this, right? But if you were to do that, then the algebra would get com quite complex. So maybe there is a better way, right? So why don't you think about this? You can pause the video if you want. And is there any better way um, so that you don't have to expand this uh, term? All right, so let's look at that. Now notice that in this cubic equation, there's some term is missing, which is the coefficient for the quadratic term is zero, right? This is very common for um, cubic equations because the way we solve cubic equation is actually try to do some linear transformation so that uh, any cubic equation can turn into a, a you know a form where the quadratic term goes away. In other words. In our lessons, we say that uh, generic form is bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero, where you have b, c, d, three coefficients. And this a, we always normalize it to one, right? In this case, you can divide by eight, you know. So, however, here, this term goes away. So b equals zero. What's the implication of that? You know, we know that the this term the root, if the roots are RST, you know that the sum of the term is equal to negative B. So in our case, B equals zero, so that's good. So the whole thing add up to, the, to zero, all right? So if cubic equation in this form, we always have the three roots add up to zero. Now when you, 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 you now realize, then R plus S would equal to negative, negative T, this would equal to negative R, this would equal negative s. So the sum we would like is actually equal negative t, negative r, and negative s to the cube. In other words, in our notation, this would be negative of s3. Okay. So when we look at the Newton's identity, like the power sum, right? You always try to um, find the value from the lower degree terms, right? So in other words, in order to find S3, you try to find S2 and S1. Now in this case, we, we realize that S1 is actually equal to zero because S1 equal to this equal to zero. All right, so do we have to find S2? Yeah, you could. But uh, here, just like what we did in um, explaining the relationship of uh, you know higher degree uh, sums, right? So RST are the roots to this equation here, right? So the meaning of that is that uh, if you replace x to RST, the equation holds. Let's write it out. So 8R cubed plus 1001 R plus 2008 equal to zero. Similarly, when you S, right? And the T, they all satisfy the equation, all right? So when you add it up, right? When you add all the equations here, what do you get? You get eight, and then, you know, when you add them up, that's exactly S3, right? What are we looking for? And then the second term here is 1001 times R plus S plus T, which is S1, right? And then there's three times 2008, right? So great, so that equal to zero. Now here, we notice that S1 equal to zero. 
that's good news for us because you can solve S3 then is equal to negative 3 times 2008 divided by 8. All right. So pretty much you get the answer. All right. So you avoided the complex algebra if you were to, you know, try to uh, solve this problem in a naive way, right? Just expand them out and then do some algebra. Here you don't have to because you just uh, notice the special property that uh, in this equation, the coefficient b is e zero, right? So as I mentioned, this is uh, how you solve cubic equation is, is get rid of the uh, b uh, by, by using like uh, variable substitution, all right? So we're gonna not cover it in this lecture, but uh, it seems like uh, this Amy problem is approachable. It's not that uh, difficult. All right, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.